sudden illness has opened my eyes in a variety of ways. My sense of being in control and making life plans has been revealed as an illusion. Another great illusion that's been exposed is that of my being self-sufficient and able to take care of myself. Illness has shouted to me loud and clear, you're not in control. You need a lot of help, and not just for medical staff, but also from family, coworkers, and friends. I've been blessed to receive that help from the parish staff, my family, and friends. All along the way, people have taken over responsibilities I'm no longer able to do. One of my brothers organized a consultation at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. A parishioner flew me up to Mayo in his plane. My sister and her husband came for four days and had the right gifts to help me move to the priest retirement center. All along the way, people offered me their time, energy, gifts, and most importantly, the gift of love. In the midst of cancer, the most powerful emotions that I've felt have not been grief or anger, but instead gratitude and love. These powerful emotions of gratitude and love bring tears to my eyes. Upon reflection, the depth and intensity of this gratitude comes from both recognizing my absolute need for help and from receiving love. This love has been given so freely, knowing that I will never be able to return their kindness and help. One big challenge to gratitude in the United States is our illusion of self-sufficiency and the myth of the self-made man and woman. The second illusion is that we're in control of our lives and destinies. Therefore, we try to find someone to blame when life doesn't go the way we, quote, expect it. We can blame God then, other groups or people, or even blame ourselves. Our expectations are behind the question, why me? It's behind our self-pity. Gratitude is a foundational virtue. It's a biggie. It brings us joy. It sees life as a blessing rather than a curse. Gratitude moves us to pass on the love we've received from God and other people. I challenge you to nurture gratitude in your life. How to do that? First, embrace humility. Let go of the illusions that you are self-sufficient and don't need the help of others. Second, let go of the illusion that we control our life plans and destinies. I avoided all the risk factors for pancreatic cancer. However, some things defy our plans and expectations. I found there are two distinct ways to live. I can let go of my expectations and create room for gratitude, or I can cling to my expectations and dwell in self-pity. I find myself feeling gratitude for all the people surrounding me with love especially as I become more keenly aware of my need for their help. I also am grateful to God for all the great years of life I've had. I am grateful for all the ways I've experienced God's love directly in prayer and for the amazing people God has placed into my life. Seek gratitude and the rest of the Christian faith will fall into place. 
love, joy, and a deep peace. May God bless you and help you find gratitude in your life.